Hi guys, so obviously I love using Army Painter Speed Paints, especially their new range of 2.0. But something I've wanted to use for a long, long time now is an airbrush, and well, I finally got one. So I'm going to have a go at using the Speed Paints in my um, airbrush and see how that goes out. But obviously I need to get a nice large miniature, as it's, this will be the first time I've ever used an airbrush. So yeah, I need something big to practice on. So after browsing my mini factory, I came across Duncan Shadow's uh, sort of range of miniatures. Absolutely awesome. Um, yeah, and I've gone with these kobold trolls as well. I think they look cute. They're fairly big. There's plenty of areas that I can get nice detail in, or try to. And lots of obviously large, larger areas to, uh, yeah, to have a good old practice with. So I've downloaded the STL and taken it into the Anycubic Photon Workshop. As I'm going to print this out on the Anycubic Photon Mono 2. So guys, if you're looking at getting, a, uh, getting into 3D printing, this is certainly a great little print at the start with. It's very small, very cheap, but uh, yeah, results are just, well, perfect. As you can see, comes out awesomely. Uh, great thing with these, um, these models as well, they are pre-supported, which is pretty cool. And is generally a good sign of, well, a good model maker. So I also printed out these little bases as well. These are quite cool, and I say it's just nice to have a variety of, well, different sort of bases. So for these, I'm uh, keeping it very simple, and I've got these little foam tiles that I made, well, ages ago, when I was doing a lot of uh, Dungeon Dragons sort of bits and pieces. So yeah, just to sort of give this troll something to stand on, and as I say, this isn't going to be sort of like a, a played with one, this is more of a, well, I like how he looks, and I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to stick him on a nice little sort of mounted what's it doobry. I'm sure you guys know what I mean. So yeah, guys, when I do come to doing the airbrushing of this, please bear in mind, <laughs> pretty please, this is my first ever attempt at using an airbrush. Um, so yeah, so for me, it was more of a case of just having a bit of fun trying it out. Um, yeah, but obviously any tips, tricks, all that kind of stuff, please let me know in the comments. I am now starting to watch a lot of other YouTubers that do airbrushing, just to obviously, well, make things easier for myself and better. Um, as I say, I did really enjoy using it, so it is something I would like to use, well, more often. And talking about airbrush guns, here's the one that I was kindly sent. So this is from Everything Airbrush. There'll be a link down below, guys. And this is the AK-100 airbrushing kit. And as you can see, it comes in a lovely big sturdy metal box, which is pretty cool. And this does contain everything you need to get going. Um, well, other than the paints, obviously. Uh, but yes, yeah, say I've never used one of these, so this is quite exciting and daunting, and well, this is going to be a bit of a learning curve for me. Um, I say I've only just really started getting, well, I was going to say good then, um, and just started getting oh, <laughs> not bad at painting generally. So yeah, to now go straight into an airbrush is uh, it's quite a leap. Um, but as I say, this comes with everything you need, uh, decently priced as well to get you sort of into this sort of stuff. And yeah, I can't wait to sort of put this all together <laughs> and give it a bash. So this set I have is kind of aimed more at the sort of beginner sort of range. Um, but yeah, if you check out Everything Airbrush, they do a whole range of items there that obviously go well up into the uh, the professional side of things. Uh, but say for me, a noob, a novice, first timer. Uh, yeah, this is the set that I've uh, I've got, and yeah, I say really good, lovely quality. Uh, everything goes together really well. Obviously, there's only a few parts. Uh, a nice little compressor here, and the thing I love about this compressor, it doesn't make a lot of noise. Uh, when you first turn it on, obviously, it makes a little bit of a noise to get up to pressure, um, and once it is at pressure, it kind of stops until you obviously use the gun and the air comes out, and then it starts up again. And even when it does start, it's it's reasonably quiet. Um, so yeah, so I was quite shocked at that. I thought it'd be making a noise all the time. But here we go. Here is my miniature, and for the first time ever, I've kind of primed it in white, which is a bit different for me because obviously I normally prime it in black to do the black chop sort of method. Uh, but yeah, as I'm going to be painting straight over with the uh, the Speed Paints 2.0, I wanted to have a go at well priming it in white just to sort of see the colours better. So here's the fun bit. Obviously, yeah, knowing just how far down to push on this uh, on this nozzle. As you can see, initially didn't do much, and then bosh. <laughs> uh, yeah, push down nice and hard, and it shoots out. So this is where the learning curve for me is going to be, and that is getting used to how much pressure to use, um, and obviously to hold this gun in a way that feels comfortable. But yeah, so as you can see, again guys, don't criticise me too much. This is literally the first time ever uh, of using one of these kind of guns. 
So I can only get better. Uh, although the end result, I was quite pleased with how this uh, this guy came out in the end. And one of the things I've always wanted to use with the airbrush gun for is like the blending, blending of paints into other paints. So I will be using this on some miniatures, but I'm thinking I'm going to have a lot more fun using this on some sort of terrain parts, maybe bigger items like tanks and vehicles um, and that sort of stuff. Well, I will still have a go occasionally at using it on miniatures. So yeah, so this kit comes with everything you need. To say it comes with this uh, this little uh, tub, bottle, doobry, what's it? Um, and this is what you use to clean the gun out in, which is really cool. As as you can see, you simply just poke the uh, the gun in there, fill up the uh, the little bottle holder tube. Again, guys, I don't know any of the terms in any of the parts here. Apologies for that. I will try and learn them. Uh, yeah, you fill up the top bit with water, and then yeah. Pulling back the nozzle, so you're pushing the air down, push it right down, and then it pushes the ink and uh, the water down. And yeah, dot, bosh, job done, things cleaned, and you can go on to the next uh, the next colour. So again, with this, I, I really had no plan of how I was going to paint this dude. I just really wanted to, uh, well, have a bit of a mess around with this airbrush, get some paint on, try out, say, the, the speed paints. Um, Army Painter did kindly send me their air range of paints. Uh, but then I heard someone say, you can use the speed paints. And it's like, oh, okay. Well, as I've got loads and loads of colours at speed paints, let's, um, yeah, let's have a go at using those. And again, say, this is from a very noob's point of view. Uh, yeah, they go through the airbrush really well. They come out really well. Uh, the airbrush is easy to clean afterwards with just water. Um, yeah, I can't see any reason why you can't use Army Paint and Speed Paints 2.0, or maybe even the original ones, in your airbrush gun. Uh, again, if you more of an airbrusher, you'll be able to do a better job than me because, say, I'm still getting used to, uh, well, controlling the nozzle, uh, pushing it down enough that I want to get the right sort of spray out. Uh, but, yeah, I'm having fun. Uh, again, like everything I say with this hobby, that, that is the thing. Have fun, play around, try new things, <laughs> um, watch other people, <laughs> and then just try and get better. So, obviously, here I was just trying to put a little bit of, I think it's a bone bone colour uh, just on the nails uh, but again this is where I need to work out distance that the spray gun needs to be from the, the model and just how much uh, pressure I sort of exert on the uh, well on the needle pointy doobry thing that makes the air and the paint come out <laughs> as you can tell yeah I know exactly what I'm talking about um, <laughs> I hope you're just enjoying the video guys uh, more than anything to say because this certainly isn't any kind of tutorial in any kind of way uh, or if it is, it's the uh, this is what not to do with your airbrush. <laughs> um, yeah, so again, I just want to have a go, a bit more blending, a bit more shading. Did a darker colour on the back. Um, it's still kind of drying a little bit here. But that's the reason why I really want to have a go with the airbrush. Just to sort of blend colours from one to the other. Uh, and it just looks awesome. So, yeah, obviously all these little spots on him. Uh, yeah, there's no way I was going to be able to do those with the airbrush. So, yeah, I'll just resort in back to good old brush, uh, just to get that bit done. Um, as I say, I, I do, I love how this miniature's come out, even though, say, some of the colours come out a bit hard and fast, uh, some a bit more wet and watery. I, I just love the transitions from the colours, um, and that, that's exactly why I want to use an airbrush, just to be able to blend colours into each other. Um, and, obviously, again, for, for doing sort of, like, uh, terrain and vehicles, Using the airbrush is going to be so much quicker uh, and efficient than using uh, the brush. And yeah, I'm looking forward to, well, what I, could, what I can do with it. But so yeah, I'm definitely going to be watching a lot more um, YouTube videos. If there's anyone in particular you guys know of that does a lot of airbrushing, especially obviously on miniatures, uh, yeah, leave the links in the description or let me know their names and I'll go and check them out as well, guys. Um, let's say this is obviously a big learning curve, uh, but it's going to be a fun learning curve. And again, like I say all the time, this hobby is all about having fun, trying new things, trying new techniques. Um, and yeah, then sort of sharing what you know or what you don't know. Just because even when people do things wrong, um, yeah, that helps people out. That's why whenever I make something or build something or paint something, if I do make mistakes, I leave them in just because it helps me learn from them. And yeah, it might help you guys learn from them. And there we go. That's the troll done. And as I say... Um, no real pattern to this guy whatsoever. It was just a case of slapping some paint on. But I'm really pleased with how he's come out. I mean, I honestly thought this would look like a, well, a real dog's dinner. Uh, but on the whole, 
Yeah, no, he's got some nice colour there. Nice lighter tummy, darker back. Obviously, I've done him in orange as well. Orange is my favourite colour, so I thought I can't go too wrong. Um, yeah, just loved it. So for the base, uh, so got, I've got some of the old air sort of paints by Army Painter. So I'm just going to have a little, again, I'm going to have a little bit of a play. Um, I mean, I have kind of put like paving slabs and loads of sort of stones on the top here. But how it's going to look eventually, well, I'm not too sure. Again, no real colour sort of comes to mind. I am just going to have a bit of a play. Um, and again, getting used to sort of spraying stuff and, and how much comes out and how thick it comes out. And what sort of spread of an area it comes out. So, yeah, this is me just really playing about here. But, again, I was having fun. I was enjoying it. Um, and, yeah, so one thing I will say about the, uh, this airbrush, it is so much quieter than I thought. I really thought the uh, the compressor on it would be sort of making a noise all the time. And the fact that it cuts out when it hits uh, the 40 PSI, which I think my one's currently set to. So when it hits that number, it does cut out. It doesn't make any noise until obviously you start using it and then obviously the compressor kicks back in to uh, get the pressure back up and I say this one's it's obviously a small little one and yeah it doesn't really make a whole lot of noise which is uh, which is really good so for anyone who can airbrush properly uh, yeah go and grab yourself some army painter speed paint 2.0 and yeah start using that in your airbrush so I've not watered any of this down whatsoever uh, or not even watered it down but used the uh, like the the paint thinners, uh, airbrush thinners. Again, you guys know what I mean. I'm, <laughs> I am so new to this, it's untrue. Um, but yes, yeah, so I've not thinned down the Army Painters uh, paints or speed paints whatsoever. This is purely me putting them in um, and then using them. And then coming out, well, coming out fine. Well, as fine as someone who doesn't know what they're doing can say they're coming out fine. Um, certainly didn't block up the, uh, the gun um, and I cleaned it really easily. So that's obviously a good thing. So yeah, last little thing, um, again, wasn't too sure where I was going with the base, but then I like the idea of it being sort of a bit green, a bit mossy. So just using a little bit of highlights now, a bit of a, an illuminous green. Um, and then the last thing to do, the actual base or plinth of this thing, I kind of want it to look a bit sort of bronzy looking. But obviously I don't want to paint it all sort of bronze or gold or whatever. So a bit of dry brushing gives it then that sort of antique look. Um, yeah, and that's kind of it done. And yeah, absolutely pleased with how this thing's come out. So don't forget to check out the links down below, guys. Go and give everything airbrush a little look. As well as Duncan's shadow and, well, all the amazing, awesome sort of miniatures and figures he does there. And as well as taking a look at the Anycubic Photon Mono 2. As I say, guys, some of the prices I've seen have been ridiculously cheap. Uh, I think the lowest I've seen so far is about $150 for a 4K printer that prints out, well, amazingly. And there we go, we can put him on his little base, and this is him in all his glory. So I've definitely got a lot to learn when it comes to using the airbrush, but I'm certainly excited and looking forward, well, to having fun with it and to seeing exactly what I can get done with it. And I say, the fact that I can use the Army Painter Speed Paints 2.0 uh, is just amazing. As obviously there's such a big variety of colours, I can certainly have a lot of fun doing some blending and, well, all the rest of it. I hope you enjoyed the video, guys. Don't forget to leave some comments down below. Like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff as I really want to try and grow my channel. And check out obviously all the links that I have mentioned down below. And a big thank you to all my lovely patrons as well as Chaos Cards for helping support the channel. And there's a link down below guys to get a discount off any miniatures that you might want to buy from Chaos Cards. As they do a whole variety there. So yeah, go check them out as well guys. Okay guys, you all take care. I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.